welcome back to my channel. I have something very, very special to show you today. I'm actually doing a collaboration with Four Aces Magic. Please turn your camera on, share something about you. Hello, my name is Four Aces Magic and uh, I'm a YouTuber, just like you. <laughs> I'm so glad we can actually collaborate. I'm gonna leave a link down below to his channel. Go over there, check him out, show him some support. He does similar stuff to me, mainly card tutorials, which is very, very cool because that's the thing now. And a lot of people are starting to get into magic now that the shutdown has happened. And card magic looks very, very good over virtual, like you're going to see today. So what we have in store for you today is I'm going to do two card tricks. Forest is magic is going to do two card tricks and we're going to teach them to you. So would you like to get started? Uh, yeah, sure. So let me pin you here so we can see you. All right. Let's see, figuring this out. Let me remove this one. There All you right. go. So Colin, tell me to stop. Okay, stop. Right here? Yes. All right. So, you got your card? I have my card. All right. So I'll put it on the top real quick, give it a couple a couple shuffles. All right, now I'm gonna cut it into three piles. Just like that, perfect. All right, now, so don't tell me if you see your card. I'm gonna judge by your face expressions, okay? Okay. All right, so even if I mess up, don't tell me. Okay. All right, so first card. All right, so this is not your card, I believe. Second card. All right, I believe that's not your card either. Third card. Uh, don't think that's your card. All right, I did forget one thing. I need to put each card in a pile, just like that. Perfect. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the piles on top of each other. All right. Now we have one big pile. Colin, what? Okay. How many cards do you want me to count down? I'm gonna say, let's go with uh, seven. Seven. All right. So we have one. Two. You know what'd be awesome? What? If the seventh card down is your card. That would that would be awesome. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. What was your card calling? Three of diamonds. <laughs> Just like that, you got the three of diamonds right there. I'm I'm actually I'm very mind confused my mind doesn't know how to process this i don't think anybody else will would you like to show us the secret of how this is done all right just to let you know i'm pretty sure none of these cards are the three of diamonds no they're not even though i've seen a three of diamonds go here a minute i don't i don't know <laughs> it's magic it's magic That's what it is. all right so we'll just have colin pick another card colin stop right there Yes. All right. So, first thing, there's your card. Hey, oh, okay. that's a good card. Ace of Clubs. Goes right on top. All right. So, this is basically the main trick of the entire thing. You pull it down as a single card and then just start shuffling. Okay. So, now so, the Ace of Clubs is on the bottom. So, it's similar to a, um, a slide force? Yes. Okay. All right, so next, you put in the three piles. And obviously, neither of these two are the card, but you put them down into a pile. And then this is obviously the card, but what you do when you put it down, you push that card away, just like that. Okay. And then you pull this card that's under it, uh. and then straighten it back up. And then that card's there instead of the Ace of Clubs. That's very, very sneaky. And I'm and guessing when you pile those up, you're doing exactly the same thing. Yep. You just push it because it's on the bottom. You go boop, and then you go however many cards you want. Down, down, down. So you said five. Yes. Four and five basic clubs. 
Uh, very, very sneaky. All right, that, Colin, you got a trick? I do. Let me remove you and put me up here. Okay. Add spotlight. And I love move. your background. That looks cool. <laughs> Thank you. I just actually realized I need to put this other camera on. Everybody, this is going to be raw. We're not. Ed I'm not going to edit this video at all. This is just raw, off the cuff. It's just a conversation. So I mean, we might have some intros in it, but that's about it. Yes. <laughs> Light and stop video. Okay, here we go. I like the cards. Thank you. These are actually metallic bicycle cards. Nice. So they're very cool. They shine. What's going to yeah. happen is this trick, I can hand you the deck of cards and you can shuffle, but of course I cannot do that. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards myself. All right. Okay, that was sloppy. Let me try that again. Making sure you don't throw in an extra, like, oh, got to make sure this card stays on top the entire time. Yeah, you know so, this is, so this is a, a regular deck of playing cards. I have not been set up in any order. I can show this to you. All right. You can see they are in no particular order. Got it. So there you go. I'm going to fan them out again. I'm just going to go across. Tell me when to stop. Uh, stop. Right here. Now we have yep. three cards here. Which one would you like? One, two, or three? Um, two. Two. So this one right here in the middle. Yep. I'm not going to look at this card. You're going to look at it. I'm not looking. Got it. Okay. Yep. Just going to go ahead and cut. Now we can actually take this deck and we can actually cut it a couple more times. Just to losing the card completely in the deck. Let me look at one thing real quick before we can get started. While you're doing that, I'm gonna turn this air conditioner off. Oh, I, I, I got it right here. Right, here I, just, I just found the thing I needed. Right. Your card is now on top, the nine of hearts. I'm gonna hand you this nine of hearts, take it. There we go. There you go. Cool looking card. So that's your nine of hearts. And yep. I just need you to think of a number two, three. Let's go with one through 52. <laughs> one through 52. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's go seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the seventh card now. This is not your card, correct? No. Because it's, of course it's not. You have the nine of hearts. Can you hand me this, hand me the nine of yep. hearts back? Thank you. Thank you. We're just going to place that right there and we're going to put these back on top. Now, if we count to one, two, three, four, five, six, here's the seventh card. Now, there is your card. Nice. Now, this one, of course, like I said, it, it's a regular deck because it is. This actually, there's really no setup involved. There's just two things you need to be cautious of. So you ready to learn the secret? Yes. Okay. So like I said, your audience volunteer can shuffle the deck. If you're performing for a group of people, you can pass the deck around and everybody can come over here. They can cut the deck a couple of times. They can shuffle it. All that jazz, all that fun, good stuff. And of course, it is a free choice. So once again, just choose any card. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Right here. Now yep. you can build this up. There's three cards here. You have a choice here, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. So we're just going to use this card. This card happens to be, oh, 10 of clubs. Happens to be the nice. 10 of clubs. So when they're looking at this card, what you're doing is you're going to study the bottom card, the two of hearts. Right. When you look away, you're studying this card, two of hearts. Yep. That's, your, that's your bookmark card. So when they put it on top, and you cut the deck, you're looking for the two of hearts. And now they yeah. can seriously, they can take this deck and cut it as many times as they want to, and they're not gonna separate those two cards from each other. So when you gotta look for the two of hearts, you're eyeballing their card. That's all you're doing. So two of hearts, you can continue going through. Suspense is right there. Two of hearts, 10 of clubs. Yeah. You're gonna cut the deck, putting the two of hearts on the bottom, leaving their 10 of clubs on top. 
All right. Then on the top card, like I said, is the Ten of Clubs. So when you take this off and you hand it to them invisibly like this, that's just show. Okay, but some people may believe that. And when they're taking that card Take from it. you, oh, there you go. There you, there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> so when they take that card and you're going to say, uh, just think of a card, one, two, three. Just think of a card, um, one through 52. And as you do that, you're pinky breaking those three cards that you just took off the top. So once again, think of any card, one, two, three, 52, one through 52, pinky break like that. Yeah. So when I say the card, um, five, for instance, you'll go one. This is one card. That's their card. One, two. You're counting these two cards as two. So that's one, picking up both of these cards. Two, three, four, fifth card. That's not your card. And you can call back because you have your invisible 10 of clubs. And see, that, that actually surprises a lot of people that you already know their card when you hand it to them. That, that, that starts playing with them. So you yeah. put that card back down on top. You take up these cards here, putting those on top. So now their card is in the place it needs to be. So when you count again, you're picking up you one want, card. Put the card back? Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot. Take it back. So you take it take back. It. You put it back into place. So you count <laughs> one two, three, four, fifth cards, their card, and you're only picking up one card at a time. So their nice. card is the fifth card down. That's pretty so cool. there you have it. Another very simple card trick. Let me start, and start here. So now I think we have two tricks down. Do you have another one you would like to share with us? Yes. Okay. You Here, go ahead and pin me. There you go. Mm -hmm. Take it away. So first up, I need to find four cards. All right. And the four cards, obviously, four aces because my <laughs> channel name, four aces magic. So, all right. Ace of spades, ace of diamonds, ace of hearts. Where's the other one? Come on, I thought there'd be a fourth one. Dang it. Uh, I, I, can, I can find my ace and give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the ace of clubs. All right. So we got all four of the aces, okay? So the ace of clubs, the ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, and ace of spades. Very so cool. Right on top. All right. So once again, ace of clubs, ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, and ace of spades, right? Correct. All right. So first thing, we'll put the ace of clubs down right there, just like that. And just like that, the ace of clubs is gone. Ooh. All right. Now... We have the Ace of Hearts, put that right there. And just like that, the Ace of Hearts is gone. Wow. All right, next up, we have the Ace of Diamonds. Now it'll be a little different this time. You ready? Yes. Just like that, the Ace of Diamonds is gone. Wow. All right, I'll get a, go ahead and give the deck a cut. All right, so we have the Ace of Spades, right? Correct. Now we save the best for last, the Ace of Spades. Ace of spades goes on top, and just like that, ace of spades is gone. Three of clubs. Just like that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So can you teach this one to us? Because I, uh, yeah, sure. I think this one looks like it would be very tough, but I don't think it is. Um, actually, you're right. All right. So first off, here goes the biggest reveal of all. Ace of, Ace of Spades is still on top. All right. Second, we fan through here. Ace of Diamonds flipped up, just like that. Ace of Hearts is flipped up, and Ace of Clubs flipped up. All right. So once you get all your aces, you put them on top, and you fan it out, okay? Okay. And then you have three cards under the Ace of Spades. You put that back. But really, you still have all three cards under the Ace of Spades, right? Right. And you put the Ace of Clubs down and put those three cards right above the Ace of Clubs by putting all the cards on top. And just do whatever magical move you do. I do this. And it's gone. But okay. really, if you reveal the third card, it's right there. So make sure you never reveal the third card. 
Right, very so he's back up. His hearts was on top. And just like that, it's gone. And then you go ahead and go just like this. Straight up one more time. So this one, it looks hard, but it's probably the easiest move out of all of them. Yes, very, very it's much so. On top of the Ace of Diamonds. But really, there's two cards on top of the Ace of Diamonds. And you push it, and then you pull back, and it should leave that card right back there. All right, so next what you do is you just give it a cut because you don't want to do a double lift. No. And then reveal the Ace of Diamonds. So you give it a cut. You put the cards back on top. Put the Ace of Diamonds on top. Just like that. You do the double lift and the Jack of Diamonds on top. Nice. And I'll explain double lift. So what you do is you push off and you pull two cards. So it looks like one, but there's really two. So once again, push off, pull two, and Jack of Diamonds. Very nice. Very, very smooth, too. Thank you. So now this next, this final card trick. I know, unfortunately, we've reached the end of this. Um, but this last card trick that I'm going to show, actually, Forrest's Magic did a video on this. It was his last video. Ooh. Yeah, you can... You, trick. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to find out how to put very, very cool thing. Let's see. Let me spotlight to let me also. For some reason, it's not wanting. Okay, sorry about that. We had some technical issues, but I have figured it out now. Yep, we're good to go now. So, this one, Forces Match did a video on this one not too long ago i think it was his last video he put up on his channel i'm going to link his video up here so go and watch it you can see another perspective right you'll go yep right up here in the corner nice. somewhere up here in the top. top yeah you'll see it pop up and he'll somewhere go in the screen somewhere yes in some the somewhere in the screen and he'll go into more depths of how this one is done so you have a deck of cards i'm gonna turn them over here and we've got Two, two jacks. Two jacks. Jack of hearts and jack of diamonds. Put this on top. I'll snap my fingers. And just like that, it turns straight into two aces. Nice. So like I said, he'll go into more depth and more handling of this. I'm just going to quickly run through it here. Here are where the two jacks are hiding after the trick is performed. So this is why you cannot hand this deck out for examination afterwards. Because it gets one person to remove this card and expose how it's done. So for a reset, you take this jack and this jack and you sandwich them together. So this one goes on top of the deck like this face up. This one goes on top of the deck face down. You're also wanting to pinky break these two cards. Pinky break is where your pinky breaks the cards right there for easier access. Nice. Now the two aces, they'll go on top. Or you, if you want to start the way I did, they can be face down. And so you come out and you're ready to perform. You take the deck out and you find the two aces flipping them over like this. And as soon as you flip them over, you're going to want to pick up the two jacks. So for a better view, these go on top, same time as you will go and pick up those two jacks. You fan out the one that does not have the two jacks behind it, can be the one on top, out so like this. I've got two aces. Put that on top, take the whole entire pack, flip it over, do some magical movement. I think in your video you did something like that, or what, what did you do exactly? You went, uh, basically what I did last time. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah. That. that. Snap your fingers or do some magical gestures, press the digitation, let your domain, some magical words, do whatever, and reveal that they have changed. Now you can quickly get back into the movement if you want to produce them back by just picking them up again. So right here, this bottom card should be an ace, putting them on top, sliding it, going face down like so, snapping your finger, doing magical gestures, and changing it back. Yep. And so there is another very simple, very easy to do, like I said, 
want to bigger and deeper in, into how to do this trick, go and check out Forrest's video. Thank you. Okay, so unfortunately, we have reached the end of this video and I've had so much fun with you. Hopefully we can get some other YouTubers to join in here and we can have like a big just party of card tricks and fun and all that stuff. I think yep. for for he says magic, you're going to do a similar video with me on your channel in the near future, correct? Is that the plan? Yep. So yeah, go and subscribe to his channel, show him some love, subscribe, watch his videos, and hopefully one day you'll see a collaboration between me and him. So please, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more amazing magic content. Until next time, it's been a magical time.